Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Tega V2 tablet from TegaTech. Now if you haven't seen my previous videos on this particular device, please head on over to my main channel page. You're going to see a product tour, unboxing, a look at Windows 7, internet browsing and YouTube, as well as text entry via the on-screen keyboard and swipe, a fantastic method for inputting text. And if you want to check out this actual device, then please do head on over to tegav2.com. Well, this particular video is all about Thinix Touch. And what Thinix Touch does is it gives you a user interface for simple uh, sort of access to your applications. So this is what you're presented with when you launch Thinix Touch. We've got some really nice icons. They're all pre-designed and you get a massive library of icons for various applications and tasks. If you install an application that isn't in the library, you can very easily add it to the library at a later stage. So we've got this grid of eight icons. We've also got tabs at the top. If I go across to the Office tab, if I can just get it to um, go across to Office, here we go. So this has given me access to things like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, File Manager, etc. I can go across to Games. And the only game I've got installed is Mahjong. And then Entertainment gives me access to these particular sites. These are all going to launch the um, actual Internet Explorer or Internet Browser I've got installed. But you get the idea. It gives nice large icons that I can tap on. Accessories gives me access to these particular accessories. Now, you've also got some extra icons here. We can tap on the battery meter. It gives us an update of how much battery life we've got left. Tap on this one here. It gives us access to Thinix Wireless Manager. And this is uh, for connecting to Wi-Fi. And then we've also got some extra bits up the top here. We've got a drop-down arrow, if I can get it to recognize I'm touching which is not going to. We have got a keyboard as well. So we've got a different keyboard to what you've seen in the previous videos. Really, really nice for text entry. We can get rid of that by tapping on the keyboard again. And then we've got something called uh, Thinix Mashup. And you can actually tap on this icon here. And this launches the sort of configuration tool for um, uh, changing the icons, uh, adding more icons, etc. So we've got sort of a scrollable list of different icons here. We've also got a settings cogwheel here, which we can tap on. Allows us to change the button size, etc. We've also got an add icon here. So I can add a button, a folder, a blank button for a spacer, a website. We've also got some group options. So a great way of actually configuring how the interface is going to look. So let's come out of that and go back to our main uh, Thinix Touch interface. When we've finished using this, we can actually push this log off shut down button. It gives us various options. We can cancel and go back to our previous session. We can return to Windows. We can sleep the device. We can log off of this particular session, restart or shut down the device. So let's go back to our current selection and just have one last look at this interface. I think they've done a really good job of putting together this particular interface. Nice big icons, a nice overlay to Windows 7, and I think it is fantastic to use. So really good addition to this particular device. Now Thinix Touch is going to be updating very soon to a new and more polished interface with some new features, so keep an eye out for that in the future. But for now, this was my look at Thinix Touch on the Tega V2 tablet. Please do keep checking back on the Geek and Noise channel for more video coverage on this device and other great reviews and news. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want to get my regular updates, please follow me on Twitter by following at Geekanoids. Until next time, have a great day. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.